well, I'll have to check the date, but I think we're about 10 days into our greenhouse experiment now. And our tomato plants and pepper plants are showing new growth. As you can see here, nice shiny, glossy leaves. And uh, we've been watering it every other day or every day, so uh, to keep it moist but not too wet. We've had a lot of sprouting, as you can see here. And we've been taking out healthy subjects and moving them to more space outside as well as inside here. <clears throat> and I've sort of forgotten which is which, but... I think that this is the radish, radishes here, and this would be the, perhaps the spinach here, I'm not sure, but I think that that's it, the spinach, and then these are the onions, which are doing excellent, the red onions, there you go, got quite a few of those sprouting up, I'm not sure if this is corn or not, and that over there, but the corn might not be coming up. We're gonna wait and see if these get extremely large and start not looking like grass. Then we'll know they're corn. But corn doesn't produce a lot of food anyway, so we're not too concerned with that. And I think that this is a spinach here as well. And our tomato plant has grown up through the rack now, as you can see. So it's ready to be trained to climb through here. Now here's a real nice surprise, is the strawberries are doing very, very well. A ton of flowers on there. And we're keeping them watered. A little yellowing on the leaves. And we got a lot of flowers, but not many leaves here. So hopefully this one will sprout this new growth inside here and start developing. And this one has new leaves growing here as well. And it was sending runners when I saved it. So, so there you go. We've got quite a bit of food started now. A little bit of a drip there, we're going to have to work out, get that outside. The blueberry plant is doing well, but it's a slow grower. I should probably transplant it out, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to have some kind of growth here. And there were some flowers there, which are turning blue now, but I'm not sure whether or not we're going to get fruit off this this year. So we've moved these ones over here. And that one looks quite good. That was the best of them I think as far as development for the radishes if that's what they are if you can correct me feel free to correct me on this sprout here um, but it could be the uh, King of Denmark spinach I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that this is the King of Denmark spinach here so there you go and the aquaponics plants are as healthy, if not healthier, than the plants in the soil, which is quite surprising in a lot of ways. And the water from this uh, system with a couple of goldfish for a week or so now has kept this raspberry twig green and the flower is not dying. So we'll find out. And this is the asparagus here, which is growing quite well. And I did check the roots on one of these. Uh, that I'd pulled out and transplanted, and they were huge and extensive. It had a huge root ball. And we can see now with our clear holding tank that the water is getting a little bit of algae. So we're going to have to uh, black that out because that will be absorbing.